Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck are you? Let me dry them up. Too cold. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch it, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you how to prepare some salt mackerel seasoned rice. Let me pause here to say special thanks to my patrons that have been making my page possible. If you are here and you'd like to be a member of my Patreon, click on the link in the description of this video and all other videos and lives. There you will get on to see my content. Thank you. Now let's get into this little seasoned rice video. I have said for a long time that I have one more season rice. When I did the last season rice, I have one more very distinct season rice that I want to give to you. However, I cannot get one ingredient for the longest while and I still don't get it. So I am going to be using something that is, won't give the flavor, but it will give the look. I want you to get some gully beans or susumba. That would give it the authentic taste. Salt mackerel seasoned rice, the salt mackerel, the gully beans and the coconut milk and the rice but I cannot get it I don't know what is happening so let me show you I have here if you want to make this dish you have you're gonna need some bone dry coconut milk fresh if you cannot get fresh use the canned one I have here some salt mackerel that has been scalded off you know get out some of the salt and it has been washed properly with lime and debone no this is not my type of salt mackerel family I like the one that has the um, salt peter, that red look. That is just me. If you like this one, go ahead. However, this is what I got, so I'm using it. To me, that one has the original salt mackerel flavor. And if you notice, I have left some of my bones as an old timer. Yeah, that's me. And a lot of people like their mackerel with bones in it too. Right, we're gonna need a little black pepper. We're gonna need maybe a little extra salt. We're gonna need a little piece of butter, okay? And of course the rice, a few pimento seeds. And I showed you that we're gonna be using just a little green peas to give it the look. For really sadly, we're not gonna get that authentic taste. But uh, no, I'm gonna be putting a few little things together. Cause normally would I just use with green thyme of course, not ripe, not dry. I'm gonna be using a small piece of this with this maybe medium onion, some garlic, three pegs, and I'm gonna be using seven of these bird pepper. You can use your pepper of choice because this meal, it must be spicy. If you're not a person that likes spice, if your stomach can take it without the spice, because you know salt mackerel thin, go ahead but from you say salt mackerel it's got to be spicy i'm gonna be using my scallions of course tomato for me eh, eh, no no but if you want to use some do it okay but i i really don't want to recommend tomatoes powdered seasoning and them something there no the coconut milk and as i said if we did get the gully beans now i am explaining everything to you but there are some people that have a problem when i explain so if you're here and you just want to get into the video of what I'm putting, please just skip this little part, okay? You don't have to tell me that, come to the comment section to tell me how much me can chat. You have the option to skip this part and then you can move right into the video. And so now, we'll be moving right into the video over on my stove. Okay? So I've got my thing here and remind let me tell you I am using one pound of salt mackerel before I picked up to one pound of rice so that's my ratio yeah so I'm gonna be putting in my butter leave it to melt whilst that is melting I am gonna be starting to cut up my little scallions because I'm gonna be doing a little sauteing off in that pot there with the butter 
If you don't want to use that butter, feel free to use your butter of choice, okay? So I'm gonna be getting more of these chopped off, my scallions, my garlic, my bread peppers. You can use like chili, I don't know, I'm not really familiar with them pepper, but any pepper that has a lot of eat, scotch bonnet, but the bread pepper is a lot of eat and it has a specific flavor. I may happen to have some and it is gonna take me back to the olden days with that flavor. So I'm using it, but you can use other peppers, you know? If you don't want to use no pepper, you just don't use any pepper. I'll catch you in the next clip. Reasonably melted, and I'm putting in all those little condiments that I showed you. Garlic, a little piece of bell pepper, onions, kellyans, and my bird peppers, okay? So I'll be sauteing off everybody. It's just gonna be, everybody is gonna be doing it together. Saute, so you bring your heat up and you make it get a little saute, softened like, and then we are going to return. So you don't want to cut them any more than this. You saw that gel together with that little melted butter looking all softened. Remember, we are using one pound of rice to one pound of um. salt mackerel. So I'm going to put in about a cup and a half to two cups of coconut milk. If we need a little more, we will add it. This is what is happening. We're going to let it come to a little boil. And whilst it's coming to a little boil, we're going to add a few pimento berries or allspice. Remember to rinse yours. I always emphasize on you to rinse them. Leave it to come to a boil openly and then I'll return. Now, this is the color that it's supposed. You don't want to have anything red up, red up in a it, like tomato, wallipa, bell pepper, but you're gonna lose the taste. But if you want to do that, go ahead. I'm getting that little boil right now and I'm gonna be putting all of my salt mackerel except these two pieces of bones mm? yeah put in your salt mackerel and then you're gonna add reasonably amount of a reasonable amount of black pepper I told you that's a black pepper lots of country pepper other pepper in this salt mackerel season rice here it's quite evident that we are gonna need a little more coconut milk so I am gonna pour it probably that's about another quarter cup of coconut milk. So, you see, looking like rundown, but it's not rundown. Yeah. Now, it is the time to put in your rice that has been washed and trained properly. This is my regular rice. I am not sure if this can stand up to basmati. I don't know. You must know, Carl. I don't remember if maybe I think maybe once or twice I use basmati. You want to lower your flame right now. Right at this point, you want to lower your flame on the one that you're going to cook it with. And you want to give it some really gently stirs. You don't want to stir it too much. No. If we had this Jamaican susumba or gully bean, and as you go along, you will realize you want a little more liquid which is the coconut milk do not do not substitute this coconut milk for anything else i substitute anything else for the coconut milk in that in this dish look at that let us put in some fresh green thyme and to the top here i'm gonna put my mackerel bones you can do it where you want no you want to give a little taste because this mackerel will have a little salt in it and i think it should be enough depending on how you take the salt out of your mackerel so i want to taste a bit and i think yes this is good for me i feel like i'm gonna take two more bird pepper in mine so what i'm gonna be doing right here i'm just this is enough water for my rice and this is how it looks salt mackerel seasoned rice but we just never get the gully bean. Leave it to just to simmer down right there. Probably another 15 minutes on the low. 
So I know you're going to ask me what happened to the green peas. As I told you, it's a substitute for the sasumba of the gully beans. No, the gully beans would be in there. Matter of fact, they would be in there from the very first beginning. They will be the first one cooking as if they are peas. So this is already cooked. So I'll show you when or how I will apply this. Now we have there. And I would say 15 minutes on the low simmering, just as how you cook your regular rice. When I catch you in the next clip, I'll show you how we're going to proceed to the end of this little salt mackerel seasoned rice. Tell me what you know about that. What do you know about salt mackerel seasoned rice? Or if you even knew it with the gully bean. And I say, I think this is the best way because a lot of people would not be able to get the gully beans on the susumba. So hence I said, let me use something that I know you can find. Catch you in the next clip. We are ready to add our green peas. And you can add as much as you like, but I think I'll be adding my, it's, this is one can. You know the regular size, I'm gonna use it to top it off. Because we would use a whole heap of gully bean, you know. Yeah, and the difference to the gully bean would make it green. So we're gonna cover it like you know like you yeah, cover with your, your cheese yeah and we're gonna let it simmer continue to simmer let's see what is happening after that 15 minutes we want to just we're just checking if our rice is cooked basically so first thing that comes out is our thyme yeah, and it's like rice and peas, yeah? So you're going to move your time. Hmm? So, you know, we fluff. And as I said, you can use your spoon. This is my mackerel bone that came out. Yeah, I like that. If you like that in your mackerel, you can come and tell me if you're like me. I want to see if anybody else out there like me. We really have the old time thing going on. Look here. Look at this. Can you imagine if this was the susumba? Can you imagine if this was the gully bean? And let me tell you, don't make your mackerel pieces too fine. They will cook right out. You want them reasonable size that as you stir this, this is ready. We can turn it off. Look at this. Isn't this a beauty? Salt mackerel seasoned rice. But lad, we just can't find the gully bean. But cool. I think the green peas, it doesn't have that bright gully bean green color but in, it enhances the dish properly. Who is ready for salt mackerel seasoned rice? I'm gonna plate up some for you in the next clip. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate and most of all to your stomach, it is salt mackerel seasoned rice. Remember to make sure that you are subscribed to the Jamaican cooking journey. When you do, remember to hit the notification bell. Remember to make sure you press the option that says all. Remember to thumbs up the videos. Okay? If you'd like to try this, try it, let me know. Put your twist to it. But do not take away this original flavor. And if you know about the one with the gully bean, let me know. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Remember to check in the description of this and all my other videos and lives. Remember to support my merch. Our merch is still there. It's summer. It's coming up. And we have a water bottle that you're going to so need. Remember, there are the cushions there. Check out my merch store. Remember to check out my Patreon page. And most of all, remember to be you, do you. Most of all, love you. Some of this salt mackerel seasoned rice.